some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? Maybe they can be cured or... <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Oh. Gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Forget it. Oh. Oh, shit. 
Shit. Chris. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, Ash. He didn't. He was out there. I'm I am so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think he's gotta be dead too. Oh Christ. Alright. These all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key, right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying. It's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em. Oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's nothing. No, it just it, no, it bit no, me and it bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes, 
it happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Don't. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my God. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. That, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. This guy's a little OCD. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What does it say? It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um. It says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Mike almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse, there's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Oh, 
Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. 